How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you all a couple games of ranked seasons. I'm going to be trying to make it into the division series in order to unlock a guaranteed finest pack. Uh, really quickly before I get into this video, I wanted to go over some of Babe Ruth's stats. I have used him in some friendly games, so that's why his games and at-bats are weighted a little bit differently. But this card is honestly the best player for me. I have a thousand feeling percentage. I'm also hitting against lefties a little bit better, almost 500. And he's batting 400 with runners in the scoring position. I can always get my on-base percentage up a little bit simply because I don't really draw that many walks. I usually swing. I'm a free swinger. In, in many times and uh, I need to get that up a little bit but here we go we're getting into some ranked seasons this is the first game I've been able to play uh, this month or this ranked seasons I started off at 650 after making World Series of the previous uh, ranked seasons and the very first at bat Babe Ruth in the leadoff spot is going deep with a home run so no doubter from the very first pitch actually that was the second pitch of the game but uh, first at bat of the game he goes deep so that's going to certainly help the confidence uh, for the other team's pitcher it's going to decrease it a little bit and uh, that was a change up as well so he might hang that a little bit later on in the game but now we have Ted Williams up I'm also hitting 450 with this Ted Williams he's going deep with the solo shot on the sinker low and away that's a no doubter as well so two solo shots in this very first inning to go ahead and go up two nothing I also have Tom Seaver on the mound and uh, hopefully he can pitch pretty good for me I have struggled on this difficulty in all-star I know it's extremely difficult to pitch in this game in general and uh, most definitely on all-star there I got pretty lucky I missed the spot completely and it ended up being one of the better change-ups I've ever thrown in the game it's just kind of random how that works here the opponent gets a seeing eye single through the shift there I do have the auto shift on I feel like it's helped me out a little bit more in this year's game than it did in previous years I did go ahead and take it out of the of my uh, settings completely last year but anyway I do have the auto shift on some players hit into the shift a lot more this year I find than than previous years but anyway he has something going here he was one swing of the bat from tying it now he's one swing of the bat from taking the lead here in the first inning trying to respond and Babe Ruth is going to ground into an inning ending double play I was trying to get him to chase it the difference was I was able to get the change up below the zone and when he threw the change up to my Babe Ruth I was uh, it was a little bit more of a hanging pitch and I hit it out for a home run that's really the difference of the game so far a couple home runs he definitely had a great opportunity in the first inning but uh, Honus is also going deep and this is one of the reasons why I think Babe Ruth is the the uh, best outfielder in the game he's able to make those catches I have really uh, struggled with uh, you know other outfielders out there in right field in Ken Griffey Jr. Babe Ruth has 71 fielding and I feel like he gets to uh, he gets to some of the same balls that Griffey would. He gets a little bit better animations than Griffey, which is kind of interesting. Griffey is one of the best outfielders of all time. Just doesn't really play well in the corner outfield or even in center field for all that for that matter. I I noticed that, but I'm using Ted Williams in left and Babe Ruth in right, and so far it hasn't really hurt me too much on defense. So I plan to continue to do that. Uh, both of those guys have been my best players. I've been focusing a lot of the gameplay on some of these hitters. But that's simply because they're that good. I mean, Babe Ruth is two for two, solo shot and a base hit up the middle. He hits everything hard, and I usually face a lefty later on in the game who I'm hitting better against. I want to get that guy as many at-bats as possible. That's why he's in my leadoff spot. I have Ted Williams in the three spot. I feel like I would rather have Ted Williams in the three than lead off with Ted Williams. Ted Williams is one of the toughest guys to strike out in the entire game, so he would be a good leadoff hitter. But that 56 speed, I'd rather have 64 uh, speed in the leadoff spot. Anyway, this opponent is able to hit the ball pretty well in this game. He is smacking into the gap. Babe Ruth is tracking that one down. Uh, no problem out there for him. He gets a good animation. He catches that one. I've had balls like that where he's completely missed them, and it didn't count as an error or anything because the fielding percentage was a thousand. But I've had it, a situation where he's missed those. It just kind of whiffs on him. But I've had the same thing happen with Griffey. So. It's kind of interesting, I mean, how some different, you know, some fielders play a little different out there than others. But uh, Honus Wagner at shortstop's been locked down. I'm hoping to uh, get into the division series in order to get this pack. I'm trying to build up my stubs. I might sell all the finest players that I have, except for Bellinger and Hayter. I might go ahead and sell whoever I get out of the pack if I'm able to get the division series, as well as I believe I still have Austin Meadows from a previous pack. So hopefully uh, with that finest pack, if we get into the division series, we're only a couple wins away, 50 points to be exact, but trying to build my stubs up because I don't know how I'm going to be able to unlock Ichiro. I don't know how you're going to be able to 
get that card. Uh, he is going to be released into the game on Wednesday, so I'm really excited about that. He's my favorite player of all time. So I will be getting that signature series each row. But uh, in the last inning, the opponent got something going. He got doubled the other way against the shift. So, so it's kind of helped me in this game as well as kind of hurt me a little bit. But Babe Ruth is 3-for-3. Three three. He's smacking that one down the line. That's going to be an extra base hit, 64 speed into second base. We have the bases loaded with Lou Gehrig up at the plate. I looked pretty foolish in this at bat on some fastballs up in the zone. He goes right back to it with a slide step, though. Kind of speeds up my bat a little bit, and we smack it into the gap. For an extra base hit, that's going to be a bases clearing double, which might have saved a run if he was able to tag me out there. I always get mixed up on the base pass. I'm trying to press L1 and then also send the runner from uh, first to home and not try and send the guy all the way to third. But just for whatever reason, sometimes I'm holding it down just a little bit too long and that happens. But uh, at the same time, I do use the directional pad and the bases for the actual individual runners. And sometimes I can get messed up with that too. So anyway, we have a 5 nothing lead. Ted Williams is up at the plate using the Josh Hader for the first time in ranked seasons. This is the brand new finest card. And if we get lucky enough, we can pull uh, that card 1 out of 10 chance for an elite round. And the only one I don't have is Alex Bregman. I know that he's a very good third baseman. So if we can clutch this victory out, we have a 5-run lead. Now it's a 4-run lead. But uh, no lead is safe in MLB The Show. I think any time you get in the uh, middle ga in middle of the game, 6th, 7th inning, 8th inning, uh, it starts to become a hit parade. More base hits are usually hit because starting pitchers have less stamina, they have left less energy, you have to go to the bullpen, and sometimes people can really hit whoever you bring in through in the bullpen. I mean, this guy had multiple base hits in a row. He's looking to tack on a couple runs here. It makes it a two-run ball game, and he had a chance to take the lead there. He scores one more, making it 5-4 to four on a sack fly. I'm trying to get some of those runs right back. This is my half inning, and this is a very big inning right here. We started off with a late base hit, so a little bit lucky there. I have had some some good squared up hits, some line outs as well in this game. But for the most part, I'm looking to try and have a couple good at-bats in this inning. This is a big inning. Top of the eighth, I only have two more chances. I'm trying to take a couple pitches and uh, just missed that one with Lou Gehrig. Fastball up and inside. I was trying to pull that and I just didn't get the PCI up in time. But that is a pitch I'm looking for. That's why I've been able to hit lefties pretty well. It seems like a lot of people throw uh, fastballs inside to lefties and I'm able to pull those much easier than I am fastballs righty righty it's just a little bit of a visual thing for me in the game i don't know what it is but uh, pablo sanchez is also getting rewarded with the late base hit now we have honus wagner up with the bases loaded and i thought that this one was getting down for the third base hit in the game but babe ruth makes a lunging grab there and keeps me from scoring because i didn't know if he was going to get a quick animation throw that ball in and throw me out at the plate i still had a chance with the pitcher spot coming up and cody bellinger off the bench the pinch hitter 99 overall finest card hits a grand slam giving me the four runs right back that I just gave up in the previous inning and a little bit later in the following inning the top of the ninth Chipper Jones goes deep expanding the lead a little bit so trying to close this one out he's down to his last out it is a 10 to 5 ball game he's able to respond with a run of his own and uh, grounds out to Rogers Hornsby with Babe Ruth to end it against Trevor Hoffman that was a pretty good game we moved up about 30 points about 680 is the rating we're facing charlie morton finest version and this guy has the regular ichiro in there he's got the 93 overall that you're able to pick at bronze level 75 or i believe in the early silver levels i went ahead and selected him at bronze 75 that's my favorite card in in mlb the show really i would say and uh my favorite player of all time i wish he had a little bit more power and now that we're getting a signature card i cannot wait for that ichiro man that is going to be very exciting but in this game right here, we start off another two runs in the first inning. Ted Williams goes deep after a, a base hit from Willie Mays. So Babe Ruth wasn't able to get something going to lead off the game, but Willie Mays does, and we start off with a two-run lead. And now this play right here, Willie Mays on defense, best center fielder in the game, best outfielder in general in terms of defense, speed. He gets to that one, got a speed boost. It turns into a double play. And now we have Pablo Sanchez up, the created player, the backyard baseball legend, the secret weapon. He's a power-focused catcher, and he can really do it all in this game. I have a, a shortstop version of him as well, but I like using the catcher one a little bit more. He has 115 power, launched that one into the gap for a double. I was unable to score him, but 
Uh, it's definitely a good start to the inning. I need to capitalize on those opportunities. In this situation, Ichiro sends one up the middle. Kind of an Ichiro special hit right there. Just a ground ball gets through. And he wasn't able to score, though. 41 speed on, on uh, second base. They're unable to score with Willie Mays in center field. That defense really makes a big difference. But Bay Ruth in the second at bat, he's ripping a double uh, the other way. 0-2, just take the first two pitches of the at bat with Babe Ruth, and so you're still going to be able to hit the ball really well. He's going to be a tough strikeout, has that amazing contact and vision. But uh, Frank Thomas against a lefty. This guy had pretty much an all right-handed team as well as some switch hitters, so it made it really difficult for me to pitch with Madison Bumgarner. However, he is uh, one of the pitchers that I have a lot of success with. I'm able to locate with him extremely well. And Pablo Sanchez expands the lead a little bit. Another home run there. And uh, just kind of hitting a couple home runs with Chipper Jones. That no doubter animation is the same on Pablo Sanchez. I have the same swing on him. And just really nice there. I mean, Chipper Jones is a great hitter. Pablo Sanchez is a great hitter. Madison Bumgarner is up at the plate in the seventh inning. He's ripping a base hit. So he's pitching a shutout at this point. He rips a single. I didn't want to try and expand it to second base there. I didn't think it was worth it to risk it. In this situation, we have Babe Ruth coming up to the plate. I have hit into a few double plays with him, but he's going to go deep with a no-doubter. That was a pretty good pitch on the lower outside half. I swung a little bit early, still was able to pull it for a home run, and he ended up quitting out of that one. So we do get into the division series, about 705-ish rating, 710, something like that, and we will be uh, guaranteed a finest player right here. We got the finest pack. It is not a guaranteed finest elite or anything like that, but we do have a 1 out of 10 chance to pull an elite. We got a couple regular packs here as well as a bat skin. We get the mustache bat skin for the DS. Another DS nameplate, the ninth one of the year. I only have eight World Series banners, though, simply because I uh, actually might be seven. I have not played one of the seasons. But anyway, here is the finest elite pack right here, or I should say the finest pack because we did not get the elite round. We got the base round, and I will be uh, go probably selecting Yasmani Grandal. I figured I would go through all of them and I do have a couple cards I didn't realize I have uh, Danny Santana it says there I had um, who else Brian Anderson we have the Austin Meadows and we picked Yasmani Grandal so thank you all for watching this video some really good gameplay in early on in this ranked seasons I have given up quite a few runs but I also pitched a shutout so that's nice thank you all for watching peace out and have a great day